What's up everybody, this is Barry at Titans of CNC. So this is part two of our clutch housing video. In our first video, we went over the fixturing. In this video, we're gonna show you the beauty of the picture framing process. So if you take a look at the top of this part, you can see that everything that we can machine has been machined, including the deburring of this outside profile. This is gonna be very important in our second operation because this deburr path actually cuts into our tabs and makes the tab a lot thinner and easier to remove. So even though this part may not look like much right now, we're gonna flip it over onto the same expansion pins we used in the first operation, and then we're gonna finish out the part. If you haven't already, check out the video we released recently where Travis machined the cap for this assembly. So on the new assembly, no wall is more than an eighth inch thick. So everything is super thin, super streamlined. Everything that's unnecessary has been eliminated. So now we have this part at the lowest weight it could possibly be. Now the process we use to make this part is called picture framing. And basically what you have is your picture frame goes all the way around the part and that's your stock. And the part is held into the stock using just a few tabs. So with our new assembly, we're now a total of three pounds lighter than we were with the original part. And not only that, but JE Motorsports is gonna have easier access to get to their clutch to make adjustments. Now you may have noticed how easy this part was to get out of the stock. All I had to do was put a little bit of pressure on and the part popped right out. So we had five tabs on this part. Each tab was right around five thousandths thick and we had used a chamfer mill on side one that made the tab even thinner and easier to break off. All right, so we just got our finished housing out of the machine. This is the housing for the world's fastest four-wheeler in its class. We redesigned this assembly to be a two-piece assembly instead of the one-piece assembly you see here. If you guys enjoyed our video today, please like and subscribe, and also visit our online academy where we'll give you guys tips, tricks, and complete processes to be more efficient and more successful in your own shop. Talk to you guys again soon.